Hi everyone. Uh, so today we have Ms. Uh, Devi She secured All India rank in uh, the recent release of the certificate, CSE 2022. And uh, she scored uh, 274 in Agri Optional, one of the top scoring uh, Agri Optional. And uh, viewers, uh, you may have this doubt whether uh, 274 is a good score or average score. But uh, a particular score, whether it is good or average, that is depends upon the prevailing condition. For example, look in the recently recent result, if you see the top uh, two, 150 candidates, the only 10 students, they have scored more than 300 uh, in various option subjects. So based on this condition, so this year, especially anything above 270 is a very good score, right? And uh, she also cleared uh, um, Indian Forest Service examination last year. And uh, currently she is enrolling training in uh, Baradun. Despite her uh, busy schedule, uh, she accepted to give her valuable inputs for uh, agri option students. Let's welcome uh, Dev Priya. Hi, Dev Priya. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hi, sir. <laughs> Hi. All right. Okay, so first, uh, mm, so let's start with our uh, basic question. So many agri students, they have uh, this doubt. So how to start with our uh, agri option preparation? Especially for uh, the first year. Sir, regarding... Yes, sir. Uh, sir, regarding beginning the optional preparation, it depends upon what is our graduational background. For example, if a person is from agriculture background or life sciences background, for them, uh, starting the preparation is very easy. Especially in case of paper two, it is a especially scientific paper like genetics, physiology, horticulture, plant pathology, and uh, entomology. All these things, it is easy for an agriculture graduate or a biology-based subject graduate. But uh, there are also candidates who are from uh, engineering background who are taking agriculture optional. In their yes. case, it may take some time to study the basics, especially the science basics and move forward. But for an agriculture graduate, uh, their basic graduation knowledge, it is enough. In their case, it will take only three to four months to do some value addition to know how to write answers like that. Uh, and at, in other cases, it will take at least uh, six to seven months to study the basics and understand the pattern of the exam. Okay. Uh, so what are the strategies we followed? So we also, uh, last time also, you secured a good, very good mark in uh, agri optional in the in forest service. So what are the strategies you followed to improve your score in the mains? Uh, so the Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually, uh, this time I have got two scientists uh, mm. in agriculture. And in forest, I scored around 60% marks in agriculture optional. Yeah. So it was one of the main reasons for my selection in the service also. Yeah. Uh, the main strategy I adopted is that I have improved my answer writing. Uh, last time uh, in civil service exam, I only scored two forties in agriculture. That time what happened was that Compared to this year, I got more time for studying agriculture optional last year. But when I entered the exam hall, I was not able to answer all the questions. I had to leave one 20 mark question, even though I didn't, even though I know the answer, I had no time to write it. But this time I answered all the questions. And there were some questions which I didn't know also, but I uh, written the answer with some logic. Uh, so the major shift I brought in my answer writing is that I try to attend all the questions and I try to address all parts of the question. One example I could say is that uh, last time a question came and it was like uh, explain the do's and don'ts in pesticide usage with reference to purchase, handling, application and disposal. So this pesticide portion I didn't study it well. But uh, what I do was that, what I did was that I divided the question into four parts, like do's and don'ts in purchasing, handling, application, disposal. Like that, I divided it into four subheadings. And in that, we could apply our logic. What should we do while we purchase? We should purchase those with green symbol, which is less toxic, like that. Uh, and yeah. while handling, we should prevent drifting of the pesticide. So while application, while disposal, we should do safe disposal. Even though I was not studied, even though I had not studied it, using the logic, I returned the answer. So like that, uh, using good subheadings, good diagrams, and like that, I answered all the questions in the given time limit. Yeah. So it is one of the reasons for improving my score. Good, good. Right. 
so how much time one can spend uh, for a uh, optional subject okay, during the initial year of preparation sir um, uh, especially is that sir we can spend 3 uh, to 4 hours a day in optional preparation during the initial days especially if we prepare good notes on the paper 2 and if we have a good answer writing practice in paper 1 uh, it will definitely help us 3 uh, to 4 hours a day is sufficient and the rest of the time we can allot for the general studies preparation okay right uh, and one more question um so in the mains examination uh, time management is very very important so as yes. i agree graduate um so if there try again mains examination on the choices are there right so the main thing is um we know all the questions as agree graduate you know answer for all the questions so how will you choose uh, questions uh... so one uh, one thing we have to do is that we have uh, to attend five questions mm. and the first and fifth question if they are compulsory and out of the remaining eight questions we need to choose three questions yeah. so the questions we choose should be such that we know all the sub parts of that question there will be three sub parts uh, sometimes it may be 20 marks each and one 10 mark question like that we have three sub parts so when we choose a question the three questions we should know well and sometimes unfortunately things can come like uh, we don't know one question of that sub part and we cannot choose in such a situation in such a situation choose that question in which both the 20 mark questions is very well known for us because mm. our target should be achieving maximum marks so always choose that questions which we know very well and if there are more than two questions that both we know very well uh, in that case we should choose a more technical question for example mm, yeah. in case of paper 1 if we know a question from weed science and agriculture extension Uh, agriculture essentially is more like a gs paper yeah. so if you go for a technical one like the weed science there we can use more terms uh, more uh, diagrams so the scope of core more marks is there so in such case it is better to go for the technical question good good right okay so then the last question uh, so what are the books you referred uh, for agriculture this is the most common question many students uh, ask this question uh, the reference books for uh, agriculture Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I mainly referred uh, the TNU, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University website, and Angarau website. There were agriculture notes yeah. available. Mm. It was the main thing I referred. And for paper two genetics, I referred this B D Singh book for uh, plant breeding and genetics. And plant physiology, I referred N C R T test books. And this there is a book of V K Singh. and uh, for principles of agronomy there is a book by elamanda reddy i referred it and introductory soil science uh, dk das there is a book and also there was a handbook of agriculture released by icai i uh-huh. referred it uh, the basic thing which i did was that i referred to the previous 10 year questions of upsc and uh, what i do is that i divided the upsc syllabus in the upsc syllabus they have given the important points for example in case of genetics we can see there will be something like polyploidy mutation aneuploidy like that they have divided the syllabus so under each topic of the syllabus i have written what is the previous upsc question so i i had a collection of questions and i know from this portion which thing i have to study so first i go through the question then only i went to the standard books and from the standard books i noted on the important points like that i prepared the notes uh, but one thing i have to tell is that if one person is a beginner and especially new to the agriculture uh, it is better to go for already prepared notes uh, because now i know you have prepared notes so if we go for such notes it will save our time a lot yes yes uh, because note taking is a tedious process If mm-hmm. we have already prepared notes, uh, we could directly study and go for answer writing. Yes. So it will also save our time. All right. Okay. So recently, many agri graduates they are very hesitant to take uh, agriculture optional. Uh, so what is your last uh, word, okay, for those students? Uh, advice. <laughs> Sir, uh, the agriculture graduates will always have an edge. Uh, mm-hmm. As I said about the previous question. like what will you do uh, do send dots in the case of pesticide so i am an agriculture graduate and only based on my field knowledge and logic i have written 
that 20 marks question. So I am able to answer it only because I had some basic knowledge. If I was completely an outsider, I may not be able to attend it. So we will generally have an edge over the subject. And especially in case of paper two, it is a technical subject. And we already study it in graduation. So it is always better to go for agriculture. And in case of paper three of general mm -hmm. studies, there is a lot of portions that are coinciding, like mm -hmm. the public distribution system, crop insurance. Yes. So it also gives us an edge in paper three and also in prelims also. There are many questions that are coming from the background of agriculture. So uh, it is uh, anyway personal choice, but it is better to take an agriculture optional by an agriculture graduate because it gives us an edge over others. So well said. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you, Devi Priya. So thank you for your valuable time. I hope uh, this will be useful, very useful for our uh, students. Thank you. Thank you, Rens. Yeah, welcome. Friends, uh, these are the standard books we refer for agri optional. We have to refer more than uh, ten books for agri optional, and moreover, uh, these books are not enough to complete the entire syllabus. Apart from that, we need to refer uh, AgriTech portal by TNAU and the e-course website by ICAR, and then the Handbook of Agriculture and Handbook of Horticulture by ICAR publication. Um, these books are uh, not only costly, but they are uh, very bulky. So these are the problems in uh, while referring the standard books for agriculture. So that's why I have prepared a comprehensive material for the entire agriculture. So for the last uh, three, four years, I've been working on this material. And the last year I released the, the first edition. And this year I have updated the entire material based on the latest trend and, uh, and updated facts from the economic survey and uh, government websites. So it's a complete material. You don't need to refer any other books. So it's a 2000 page notes, okay? That covers, I have uh, prepared this material entirely from uh, the Senate reference books, including the Handbook of Agriculture and Handbook of Horticulture. And uh, this book is available for uh, the student's reference. So if you're interested, you can uh, contact in, this, in the given number. Thank you.